Right, I think Lewis has broken our Mervy. Right, I think Lewis has broken our Mervy. As you can see, he's got wires hanging down everywhere. Right, what was meant to be a simple job, we've got a uh, motorised step that comes out um, and you push the button at the side there and then it comes out and goes in. Now, if you forget to push the button and draw it in, then you get all get in the, in the van, put your seat belts on, turn the engine on and then it sends a butter noise. So you then have to take your seat belt off, get out, push the button, put it back in and then get back in the van. So Lewis saw this adaption that you can put on so that when you turn the ignition on, if the step's out, it automatically closes, which you think they would have put it in anyway because that's it's just such a good idea but anyway so he went on to I think Jackson Leisure and he ordered the kit the kit includes this what is this that's a relay relay five spade connectors and a, a capacitor now it comes in a black bag then a see-through bag with the bits in there's no instructions or anything so he did contact um, Jackson Leisure and they said that there was a wiring diagram on the website, which I then printed out, which isn't that one, is it? It's the first one you had, the one by itself, which is that one. And he wasn't quite sure, so then we printed out the wiring diagram for the step itself. And how to motorise it. So that's the original wiring and that is the new wiring which is completely self-explanatory apart from the fact of the wires coming from the step and up to this switch. I don't know if they weren't long enough or whatever but I've written blue in there because that's an, a new additional wire that's going to go in so I've just named it blue. But there is a purple and an orange but as you can see somewhere along the line it doesn't match up so I'm thinking this red one according to the diagrams is my orange and the purple is the blue and then this orange and black why I don't know this orange and black should be the positive and negative from the battery um, but yeah, so these are all changed, so I've got to try and suss out what's going on with that. Um, it all works perfectly at the moment. Um, but you were saying that it's not a, such a simple job because no, you've got to get the wires. They, I think this up there, plastic tube, I think it goes down to the chassis and then goes up, because it comes out up here. But because obviously it goes down and has got a U-bend in it, I'm not gonna be able to get anything down this. So my theory is I'm gonna go through the side of here, all the way along the cupboards, mm -hmm. up the back there, mm -hmm. and then where I've taken these lights down. You're gonna put it under there. It's gonna come in under there and up there. Uh, but yeah, I was hoping this this wiring, um, they'd sort of junctioned it. I could hear the buzzer behind the speaker up here and I was hoping they might have elongated all the wires and done all the wiring in here, which would have been um, simpler, I think, from a, you know, when you're installing it because everything would be in there rather than messing around with it like this. So these wires have got to come down to here. But if they'd taken them into there and then brought them down here, 
and then did it. It, it, it just would have would have been easier. So what I've got to do is this red wire has got to be lengthened to go up to this relay, which is going to go up there. So this red wire comes off of here. Put a joiner on it. Might way go it. I'm not, I don't know yet. Um, and then that comes up to this relay. But then I need another one from here, which comes down to still power this, which I would think. Yeah, the top one is the one that retracts it and then this relay does all the switching. So as soon as this gets fed from the ignition, it powers if that if this make and break switch down, there's a there's a switch down here which earths out which does the buzzer, but if that the step is out and the buzzer is sounding, then it does all the switching in here and retracts the step. Um, so you're going to crack on with that? I'm going to crack on with that, but it, what um. I thought was going to be really <laughs> just put a couple of cables down here up to there because I, like I say, I heard the buzzer up here, so I thought, oh, that's brilliant, I'll come down here. But this, you've got the door lock and everything else on here, it's, it's basically impossible to get anything down there. I can get up to about here and then the door lock and where the sliding door lock is all round the back here and I think that's what's stopping me doing it. So yeah, so we're gonna, he's gonna persevere and um, I might take some pictures of the progress as it goes along and we'll get back to you when it's, when he's unbroken the Merve. Right, so as you can see, we've managed to um, pull the wires through there after hours of mucking about and we had to take the sink out and it's come through at the back here. And we had to put um, a bit of white, white trim, plastic trim, and that's what we threaded down there. Managed to poke it out through that hole um, down there. And uh, and we've so uh, when we take the wires to the white trim and then pulled them back through. So um, yeah, so lots of. Um, destruction so we've now got the sink out as well as the lights down so um, hopefully it'll all go back together uh, fine but of course we've still got to get these wires from here up without being seen to um, this switch which is behind the speaker box here so um, I think the plan is to go along the back here of the cupboards then come up through there up along these cupboards here and then to it so we'll let you know how it progresses right we're just going to test it now um what am i meant to be looking for a step see what see if it closes mm. okay try it then <coughs> oh it does it closes and the buzzer stops aren't you clever Oh, look at that wiring. Now we've just got to put it all back together again. Well, Lewis has. But yeah, well done, Lewis. So it works from the ignition. Does it work from hit the button here? Yes, it goes out and it goes back in. If Perfect. I turn, if I turn the ignition on again. Yeah, he's going to turn the ignition on. See if it will shut again. Wait for the buzzer. Yeah, perfect. Well done. So, motorised closing step adaption installed. Got to get all this back in here. I've used some Wago connectors on here, just what I get from work. So. Instead of using crimp ones, and the reason I use those, if 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 this wasn't going to work, all I've got to do is just connect these, the grey wire and the white wire back up, and it'll all work. But um, I'll try and fit all this back in here. Put it all back together again. As you can see, 
Everything's put all back together again. And it's all working perfectly. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.